Exhausted and sitting at her table at Olive Garden, all the single mom wanted to do was now to wind down, have a dinner, and go back home with Harlan, her one-year-old daughter. It had been a long day for her. This was supposed to be a nice, relaxed meal with her lovely daughter. But it was not to be. Her daughter was really tired as well. So when the waitress came near, the single mom just asked for a go-to box so she could eat in the car. But she didn't expect that response. The waitress just frowned, stared at something, and adamantly said, No. The single mom was paralyzed. It seemed like her problem had just begun. The day had been long and tiring. Courtney Pettigo was a single mother who worked at a call center, and she had to work overtime to meet her deadline. After getting off work at 4 p.m., she had to do some shopping for her daughter's birthday party, including picking out the perfect dress for her. Courtney also needed to arrange something with the bank about paying off her credit card bill. It was now 8 p.m., and she was exhausted. She needed a break, something that would help her relax. So, she decided to go to Olive Garden for dinner with her friend, her one-year-old daughter, Harlan. Her one-year-old daughter had been with her for the whole evening. That day, Courtney didn't have anyone with her whom she could leave the child with. Being a working mother, she is always in need of someone to help her share the load of watching her kid. Today, there was no one to help out. Her mom was out of town and her friends had their own obligations that evening. Courtney wasn't about to ask for help from a babysitter after having a bad experience with most of them. But what about the girl's father? Well, that was absolutely not an option for Courtney. Harlan's dad and Courtney's ex-partner was a man named Marvin. In a way, Courtney was glad that she had ever met him, otherwise her daughter, the most important thing in the world for her, wouldn't even be there. However, that was pretty much all the good he's ever done for him. Marvin's presence in Courtney's life had only come with misery, stress, and unaccountable sleepless nights. Suffice to say, he was not the best person to be raising a child. Courtney had plenty of regrets in her life, but the father of her child, Marvin, has been the biggest one of all. When she met him, her friends had warned about him. He was unreliable and impulsive and had made himself a name as a well-known womanizer. At first, she kept her guard up. She knew about men. They were mostly good in the beginning but eventually fell through the cracks at some point. But Marvin was smooth as silk. He convinced her that he would change with the right woman by his side, that he was too old to keep engaging in those shenanigans, and that it was time for him to settle down. Looking back on it, Courtney sometimes thought that he may have actually meant what he said. But things have taken a turn. She didn't even care about the cheating, the lies, the disrespect. By the time Harlan was born, all she hoped for was that Marvin would be there for her and be a decent father. She had seen people her age get into bad relationships and end up being alone, and she hoped that she wouldn't be part of that statistics. But apparently, that was too much to ask. Marvin left the house just a few months after Harlan's birth, and Courtney never heard back from him. She didn't even know if he had run away with a lover or what he was up to these days. And in all fairness, she didn't care either. Up until then, she had been perfectly able to care for Harlan all by herself. It hadn't been easy, though it had been a really exhausting ride. But now she knew that Marvin would have been nothing more than a burden in her and her daughter's lives. He was not the role model that she wanted her child to have. When the incident happened in that Olive Garden, Courtney had just gone through one of the most stressful and busy days she could remember in months. It was as if all the pain she had been keeping in her whole life just hit her like a truck. Little did she know that destiny still had something in the books for her. While she was sitting at Olive Garden, she expected her meal to be a closure to all the hassles she had gone through that day. Courtney was excited to get her pasta and unlimited breadsticks. To her, this was usually a splurge, so she felt pretty nice at that moment. But it would be much more than that. And it all started after her baby got quite vocal about how tired she was. She was whining and complaining and she clearly needed to go home and get some sleep as soon as possible. It was a textbook toddler temper tantrum, and it was gaining strength fast, so Courtney had to make a decision and fast. When one of the waitress came close to her table, Courtney asked her for a go-to box. She planned to have her dinner in the car as quickly as possible and then go back home. Tomorrow will be a long day. 
However, the waitress gave her a strange reaction. After hearing Courtney's request for a go-to box, the waitress stood there for a moment, frowning and staring at an unidentifiable spot near Courtney. She then simply said no and walked away without providing any further explanation or assistance. This unexpected response from the waitress left Courtney feeling confused and frustrated. Just then, Arlen started to kick her heels against the table. Courtney knew something terrible was about to happen. Her face flushed with mortification as the other diners began to complain. She was all too aware that all eyes were firmly on the spectacle her daughter was making. But now she was also becoming angry. This wasn't the first time she had endured terrible service because she had a disruptive child, but this instance was particularly stressful. Courtney felt that the waitress's reaction was completely unwarranted and unacceptable. She was frustrated by the lack of empathy and understanding from the waitress, who seemed to be judging her based on her child's behavior. But before she could decide what to do next, their waitress finally made it over to the table again. Courtney thought that she might have changed her mind and had come to the table to collect their plates to pack their food up. However, to Courtney's disappointment, the waitress once again refused their request for a go-to box, despite the fact that the baby was clearly upset and the situation was becoming increasingly difficult for Courtney to manage. The single mom was becoming increasingly fed up with the rude and unhelpful attitude of the waitress and was beginning to feel angry and frustrated. She was struggling to understand why the waitress would not do something as simple as provide a go-to box and was feeling increasingly stressed and overwhelmed by the situation. Without batting an eye, 24-year-old Niani Ruder restated, You're going to go sit down and enjoy your dinner. Courtney's eyes widened in disbelief. Was the waitress refusing to help her? This was completely unacceptable. How could someone treat a customer like this? With Harlan's screeching, she opened her mouth to give the waitress a piece of her mind. But the waitress just walked away before Harlan could even open her mouth. She was aghast. What was happening? All she wanted was to get her food and go. Courtney was puzzled by this unexpected and unseemingly unreasonable response by the waitress. She was confused and unsure of what was happening, and began to wonder if she had done something wrong or if the waitress had some sort of personal grudge against her. She didn't know whether to try to talk to another waitress, leave the restaurant, or take some other action. As she was struggling to make a decision, the waitress who had refused to help with Courtney's request came back. This time, she was carrying something with her. But it was not a to-go box as Courtney had hoped. Instead, the waitress seemed to be approaching with some other intention, which only added to Courtney's confusion and frustration. It turned out that the waitress had brought the meal Courtney had ordered, along with a side of ice cream. But Courtney was still confused as to why the waitress had initially refused to give her a go-to bag. As the waitress sat down at the table with her, she began to explain her reasons for her earlier behavior. After observing the situation for a while, the waitress realized Courtney was genuinely trying to calm the baby down and decided to bring the food to the table instead. As the two women talked, they discovered that they had a lot more in common than they had initially thought and the conversation continued for some time. You're going to go sit down and enjoy your dinner and I will be there to sit with her. The waitress told the mother. Courtney was at a loss of words. Harlan wouldn't sit for her mother, she was hardly going to do it for a complete stranger. Courtney has more than a few doubts about this. Courtney wanted to go out there as quickly as possible. She was sick of people staring and whispering, but Harlan was smitten. She sat giggling away with Niani. Courtney couldn't believe what she was seeing. Was Harlan actually calming down in front of a stranger? As Courtney watched, little Harlan seemed to be completely at ease with the waitress, as if they had been friends for a long time. Courtney was amazed at how easily the baby had been calmed down by the waitress's presence and felt grateful that she hadn't have to go to her car to eat. However, she was still curious about the reason behind the waitress's generous gesture and couldn't help but wonder what had motivated her to change her mind and bring the food to the table. Despite the lingering curiosity, Courtney was relieved that the situation had been resolved and that she and her child were able to enjoy their meal without further disruption. The answer to this question was simpler than one would think. The 22-year-old waitress could tell that Harlan wasn't feeling too well and Courtney was quite stressed. To her, this was a very familiar sight. 
one that Nieni had seen and experienced herself in the past. The two women spent a while talking about the hardship of motherhood, but also about its joys. After that, the waitress left the table to go for the check. When she came back, the two women embraced each other wholeheartedly, but after Courtney left, the waitress noticed that she had something in her apron pocket. Courtney and Nieni spoke about the challenges single moms faced when raising their children alone. The waitress told Courtney that she was raised by a single mom herself because her father had not been a part of her life, and sadly, her mother passed away two years ago. I'm just a college student with no parents trying to make ends meet. It was great to get some time to sit down and talk to Courtney. She figured that the two of them have been through quite the same experiences. Only the waitress knew how to get an angry toddler to heal. Nieni also told Courtney that she'd been working at Olive Garden for around two years. She explained that she had been forced to get a steady job after her mother passed away from cancer, and that she was doing her best to pick up as many shifts as she could in order to make her ends meet. In addition to working at the restaurant, the waitress is also studying at the Durham Technical Community College, where she was pursuing an associated degree. She told Courtney that one day she hoped to become an anesthesiologist and was working hard to achieve her dream despite the many challenges she faced. Courtney told the waitress that she also had worked as a waitress, so she understood how difficult it must have been for the waitress to take the time to help her out. After chatting and entertaining Harlan until Courtney had finished her meal, the waitress finally left the table to go and get the check. When she came back, the two women embraced each other wholeheartedly. They both were glad to have found somebody who they could finally relate to. But after Courtney left, the waitress noticed that she had something in her apron's pocket. She doesn't remember putting anything there. She had taken her apron off to sit down with Courtney and Harlan, and it had stayed there while she went for a check. And aside from the meal's price on the table, Courtney had left a note in the waitress's apron pocket as a tip. It was quite a generous tip as well, and the gesture was not lost on the waitress. Nieni's gesture meant a lot to Courtney, and she wanted to show her appreciation somehow, but in her limited means. This story is a prime example of solidarity and how each of us can do something to make others' lives better, and that's what Courtney did. I actually got to eat my food while it was still hot, exclaimed Courtney in a now viral Facebook post. She went on to describe her initial confusion and frustration when the waitress refused to provide a go-to box and how the waitress's subsequent actions and explanations had completely changed her perspective. Nanny is just an awesome person, Courtney said. I was just in complete shock because nothing has ever happened to me like that. I just wanted to shine some light on the person she is. How could someone who is already under so much stress from rush hour take time to sit with her baby girl? Nieni had first-hand experience dealing with the tantrums and meltdowns that can often accompany this stage of a child's development and was able to draw on this experience when interacting with Courtney and her baby. She understood the difficulties that parents can face when trying to calm a distressed child in a public setting and was able to offer empathy and support in a way that helped to alleviate the situation. She knows how irritable children can get when they are hungry, tired, grumpy, sad, happy, afraid, or confused. Her shift was nearly over anyway, and there was plenty of other staff on the help bustle tables. But what would her manager think of her taking a break? According to Nieni, her managers at Olive Garden are very understanding and supportive of her efforts to help customers like Courtney. My managers are great, she explained. Our motto at Olive Garden is when you're here, you're family. If all I had to do was sit down and take a couple of moments to help this young lady with her baby, I'd do it every day if I could. Nieni's compassionate actions have not gone unnoticed, and her efforts have been praised by both Courtney and the restaurant's management. She continues to work hard to provide excellent service to all of Garden's customers, and is committed to upholding the company's value of hospitality and inclusivity. Courtney was so touched by Nieni's gesture that she dedicated a Facebook post to the server and her kindness. She included a photo of the waitress feeding Harlan ice cream, which captured the warmth and joy that had been restored in their dinner experience. In the post, Courtney outlined the incident and described the initial confusion and frustration she had felt when the waitress refused to provide a go-to box. 
then went on to praise Nieni for her understanding and compassion and thanked her for making the situation much more manageable. Courtney expressed her hope that others would read her story and then be inspired to show the similar empathy and kindness to those around them, particularly to those who are struggling. Courtney's post on Facebook has gained thousands of likes and comments and has been widely shared across the social media platform. The online community has responded overwhelmingly positively to the story, with many people praising Nanny's kind gesture and even expressing their appreciation for her understanding and compassion. Mother, sisters, and aunts in particular have shared their own experiences and expressed their gratitude for Nanny's recognition of the challenges that mothers can face. However, it is unclear whether everyone in the restaurant that night was as understanding as Nieni, or if there were other individuals who may have reacted differently to the situation. Girls, you will never truly know how appreciative I am for tonight, gushed Courtney in her Facebook post. I seriously admire you not only because you took the time to bribe my bratty little human being with sweet so I could eat, but because you are so strong. Despite the heartfelt praise from Courtney and the many others who have read her story, Yanni remains humble and insists that she was simply doing her job as a waitress. She has expressed her gratitude for the positive response to her actions, but does not consider herself as a hero or a special person. Rather, she sees herself as someone who is committed to providing excellent service to Olive Garden's customers and to uphold the company's values of hospitality and inclusivity. Nieni, who has a three-year-old niece, understood what Courtney was going through and felt like she deserved to stay at the table and enjoyed her meal. She knew from her own experience that raising a child can be difficult and that this challenge can be even greater for single parents who have to handle everything on their own. Nieni's own mother had raised her as a single parent, and she was able to draw on this experience to empathize with Courtney's situation. She understood exactly what Courtney was going through and was determined to do whatever she could do to help her and her baby. She came out to enjoy a meal with her family and she should be able to do that, Nanny told today in an interview. I didn't think she had to leave or go sit in the car to eat her food because her baby was so fussy. They're little kids, that's just what they do. The waitress's perspective highlighted the importance of compassion and understanding in difficult situations and how a small act of kindness can make a huge difference to someone who is struggling. By showing empathy and offering support, the waitress was able to help Courtney and her baby have a better dining experience and her actions have been widely celebrated and appreciated. The old adage, it takes a village to raise a child, is one that still holds true in many ways. Even if modern society has largely moved away from this concept, raising a child can be a challenge and can be an overwhelming task, and parents often need support and assistance from others in order to successfully navigate this journey. Single mothers in particular can face unique challenges and obstacles and may benefit greatly from the help and support of others. The next time you see a mother struggling with her child, instead of getting annoyed or frustrated, consider whether there is something you can do about it. A small act of kindness and support can make a big difference and can help to alleviate the stress and challenges that mothers often face. Just as Nanny's help meant the world to Courtney, your own efforts to assist and support mothers in need can have a profound and positive impact.